वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टिस्नेट जी के सो दोज ऑफ यू हु आर अपियरिंग फॉर टिस्नेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री और प्लानिंग टू राइट टिस्नेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री स्टे विथ मी फॉर टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स एंड वी शैल बी डिस्कसिंग अनदर इंस्टॉलमेंट ऑफ क्वेश्चन जी के क्वेश्चन विच आर बेस्ड और मॉडल्ड ऑन क्वेश्चन ऑफ टिस्नेट स्पेशली द जी के सेक्शन ऑफ टिस्नेट सो हियर इज समथिंग फॉर यू If you are looking for some strategic inputs, please subscribe to our channel Pathfinder for me. If you are looking for some content related to quantitative aptitude or reasoning, you can subscribe to our channel Mend Your Maths. This will help you not only for TestNet but also for CAT. You could also join our WhatsApp channels and WhatsApp groups and Telegram channels. You can just scan the QR and reach there. And as far as Uh, our numbers are concerned you can contact us on these two numbers 9343921347 you can whatsapp or call up these numbers and if you are looking to write tisnet 2023 and are searching or researching courses to join for the exam preparation you are more than welcome to visit our website www.pathfinderforme.com and you may find something that is relevant for your preparation so with this background let me go to the first question who is known as the father of green revolution your options are varghese kurian sundarlal bahuguna ms swaminathan and norman borlong the correct answer is ms swaminathan obviously everybody knows him to be the father of green revolution his full name is monkombu samba sivam swaminathan so he served as the director general of indian council of agriculture research and international rice research institute and he also served as the principal secretary in the ministry of agriculture and he was one of the members who was responsible for development of high yielding variety of wheat and promoting sustainable development which was later on known as green revolution so he found ms swaminathan research foundation as he aimed to get rid of hunger and poverty and the unep the united nations environment program described him as the father of economic ecology so that was work, uh, that was ms swaminathan for you so in 1999 time magazine placed him as 200 most influential asians of the 20th century next question which among the following are called thrombocytes so the correct answer of the four options are cells tissues platelets and rbcs the correct option is platelets so platelets it's their small colorless cell fragments in our blood and that are responsible for forming clots or that are responsible to prevent excessive bleeding so they help in stopping of the bleeding and they are made up of our bone they are made in our bone marrow and hence damage to any bone marrow can cause a lowering of platelets next what types of roots does wheat and maize have so the options are fibrous root systems tap root system adventitious roots and aerial roots so the correct answer here is the fibrous root system so you you would have seen if you've seen roots of uh, wheat and maize in the field you would identify them as very very thin roots and it, it they appear to be like forming a bundle so that is fibrous root system they are skinny roots and moderately branching roots growing from the stem and they are called fibrous because they are they look like a bunch of fiber very thin roots and there are two common types of root system the tap root system and the fibrous root system so tap root system there is one large dominant root and from this large dominant root you will see several uh, lateral roots which are sprouting from one dominant central root Uh, that doesn't happen in the fibrous root systems where you have a bunch of thin roots and some of the common plants that have fibrous roots rice millet onions wheat marigold banana these are all 
plants that have fibrous roots and some of the common plants that have tap roots cotton, coffee, cocoa, okra, carrots and papayas. Next question, what are the main constituents of LPG? The options are methane, hexane, ethane, methane, butane, propane, ethane, pentane, hexane or ethane, methane and pentane. Now remember one thing, wherever you see the term LPG, be sure that one of the major ingredients of LPG is always butane. Next, what are the main constituents of LPG? So methane, hexane, ethane, methane, butane, propane, ethane, pentane, hexane, ethane, methane, pentane. Remember, LPG is liquefied petroleum gas and one of the major constituents of LPG will always be butane. So the main constituents will always contain butane. So option B is the right answer. Methane, butane and propane. So correct answer to this question is LPG which means liquefied petroleum gas. It is mostly the mixture of gases of LPG has butane. <coughs> it is used in cooking. It is also used for other purposes like refrigeration. It is used in place of uh, chlorofluorocarbons. Uh, chlorofluorocarbons, yes. It is also used as a propellant for providing enormous amounts of thrust, especially uh, for rockets. It is also used as autogas and as a fuel for motor, it is known as autogas or autopropane. It is also used as an alternate to electric heating. Next, what is carbon footprint? A. Measure of radioactivity from a fossil. B. Environmental impact because of used cells and batteries. C. Total sets of greenhouse gas emissions by organizations, individuals, etc. And D. <coughs> Amount of carbon content in organic compound, the correct answer is option number C. Total sets of greenhouse gas emissions by organizations, individuals, etc. Now, as the option itself suggests that carbon footprint is when, whenever human activity happens, you know, in the form of an event, manufacturing or a service, there is some environmental impact, you know, in, in terms of greenhouse gas emissions so the sum the total sum of all such greenhouse gas emissions will be the carbon footprint so for example a manufacturing company is located at a particular place so it is emitting some gases in some form because of its activity and this will be known as the carbon footprint of that particular factory or that particular organization so the total production and consumption of foods, manufactured goods, etc. So all of them are responsible in some way for the carbon footprint. Uh, greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide and methane, they are emitted through burning of fossil fuels. Next, which city is located, which city in Madhya Pradesh is located in, on the banks of Shipra River? Now this is a very easy question. The correct answer is Ujjain. So Ujjain is a very ancient city. But before that, let's, you know, have a look at some facts of Madhya Pradesh. It is the second largest state by area and fifth largest state in India by population. Now, which is the largest state by area and population? UP is the largest state by population and by area, Rajasthan is the largest in terms of area. So, as far as GDP is concerned, Maharashtra has the highest GDP of all states. Now, state GDP is gross state domestic product, GSDP. Ujjain is the ancient capital and it was no, it was the capital of a Mahajanpad known as Avanti or Avantika. And uh, Narmada River, Vindhyas and Satpuras, they are all located in Madhya Pradesh. And together these three things form a boundary between North and South of India. The state animal of MP is Barasinga and the state tree is the Banyan tree. Next question, what does the word paleoclimatology means? The options are study of ancient climates, study of modern climates, study of climates of other planets and climates of oceans. The correct answer is study of ancient climates. Study of ancient climates as they would have been 
you know how does one study ancient climates it's not possible for one to go back in time so they study through some surrogate means some alternative means for example they will study the soil and find out or predict or try to identify what kind of climate would have been during ancient times pre even prehistoric times so study of climates for periods for which direct measurements were not taken obviously during ancient and prehistoric times there were hardly any measurements there were no measurements as far as climates are concerned and they use proxy methods from earth and biosciences to make assessments of ancient climates they study rocks tree rings ice sheets uh, corals and micro fossils next question where is the salt river canyon located it is located in united states within the toronto national forest of usa in the state of arizona next when was the first time commonwealth games were held in asia the correct answer is 1998 so they were held in kuala lumpur in asia for the first time in 1998 for the second time they were held in asia in 2010 and that was in delhi all of us know that so commonwealth games are also referred to as friendly games they have been held since 1930s uh, only twice during the period during nine, from 1930s to current times they have been cancelled due to world war 2 in 1942 and 1946 this year they were held in birmingham uk in july and august 2022 uh, for the first time they were held in uk in 2002 after 1934 there were few new games added in commonwealth games this year women's t20 basketball 3x3 wheelchair basketball 3x3 and para table tennis so these were some of the new games that were added to the commonwealth games india had fourth position overall with 61 medals of which 22 were gold and 16 were silver medals on which river tenuhat dam in jharkhand is located the correct answer is damodar the state of jharkhand should have immediately told you which would be the state river because godavari kaveri and betwa are not located in jharkhand jharkhand at tenuhat in bokaro district with this we come to an end of this session on tisnet gk once again i remind you if you are looking for some strategic inputs please subscribe to our channel pathfinder for me if you are looking for content related to quantitative aptitude and reasoning subscribe to our channel mend your math you can also join our whatsapp and telegram channels you can contact us on these numbers and this pathfinder for me is the place to look for preparatory courses for tisnet 2023 and if you want to connect with me directly my name is manish kane you can connect with me directly on 9826062415 thank you so much